for awesome GTA 5 modded accounts with cash, ranks, and more. Remember to check out digitany.com in the link in the description below, and remember to use the coupon code JIMMY for an extra 5% off. Hello all my servers, mates, and ladies out there. How's it going? It's Brad Wheel and also JimmyJ57 and welcome to another Garage Tour video. Now I haven't done one of these in a while, but that's just because I've been busy with all the new cars that have been coming out lately and just all the uh, mod videos I've been doing, as well as recently, you've probably noticed my uh, videos have been kind of like every other day, every three days, just because it is exam season for me right now. It actually just ended. I wrote my last exam on Monday, and today I'm graduating, so been a little hectic the past week, two weeks with uh, exams and studying for that kind of stuff, but I'm finally graduating high school, which means summer for me is finally here, and I can get back on track with the videos. So to show you guys that I actually do listen to your requests, uh, we're doing a garage tour video today, so I filled this garage with pretty much all my favorite cars in the game as you probably notice there's no trucks in here I'm not I'm not really a big fan of trucks I like cars a lot better and then I do have one bike just because I love my baby 801 so much in this game it looks so nice so I had to include it in here but the rest of them are all just some of my favorite cars in the game of course you can't fit all my favorites in just a 10 car garage and there is other garages filled with them so maybe you know for another um, another garage tour video I'll do one with like all my least favorite cars or you know change it up something like that but anyway let's get started today I'm gonna go around through all the cars in the garage and just kind of tell you guys what what paint job is on them because I know you guys like to um, use the paint jobs on my cars for ideas and that kind of stuff or copy them if you wish go ahead uh, that's just a huge compliment to me if you like it enough to copy it so let's get started on the Beatty 801 over here so this one's a classic if you have ever seen any of my other garage tour videos this has not changed the Beatty 801 is amazing just the way it is this color I like to call Mountain Dew and it's actually a racing green with a race yellow pearlescent looks really awesome and the wheels on there are using a yellow bird color I think it looks great just just the way it is it's so nice I've never changed this and for a good reason it's just such a nice paint job for that baby now next we have my favorite muscle car in the game right now this is the Tampa and I don't know what it is about this car it's just ever since it came out it's it's the only muscle car I have anymore. I sold all my other ones. I only need this one. It may not be the fastest, but it is definitely the coolest looking. The color I have on here is a blaze red with an orange pearlescent. And it's just, I don't know. It looks so great on this car with all the black accents, like the black uh, racing stripes up the middle there. And, you know, the uh, stripes down the sides. And, of course, then on the back, there's also stripes and then the black um, the black spoiler as well as on the back here this Tampa logo. It looks so nice I don't know driving around you know how you see the back of your car constantly don't know why it's just I'm such a huge fan of this car I love the way the Tampa looks definitely number one for muscle cars on my list now next we have the good old Armored Karuma. This one, um, you may recognize. You know, you've seen it in videos and that kind of stuff. I don't really change the paint job on this one. I do like it so much the way it is. Um with this awesome paint job. This is a sunrise, I believe I call it, and it's a dark blue with a hot pink pearlescent, and it just, it just looks so great on so many cars, and for this Karuma, I, there's only very few colors that look really, really good on it, so I thought this one looked nice. Haven't really changed it since, but definitely a, definitely a good one to go with. The secondary color on here is actually a midnight blue, so if you notice the, um, the armored parts of the car and the roof, as well as the spoiler, are a little bit darker than the body of the car, which I actually thought looked nice uh, when I was making it, so that's that one. Next, we're going to go to a very simple one, and it, I don't know. I'm I, I really love Corvettes in real life and the Cockette and you'll probably see over there There's the uh, Cockette black fin. So you got two Corvettes in here But this one I find is one of the only cars in the game that if I go really really simplistic on it It actually looks amazing. So on here This is just a matte white primary and a secondary of matte gray and that's all that's on the car And I think it looks awesome the way it is uh, once you customize it and put the uh, the skirts on here and the cool back bumper and especially that spoiler up there I think this car just looks so good just like this. It doesn't need anything crazy going on with the car. Um, just some nice wheels and that nice uh, secondary accent of just the gray. It looks amazing. I just like the two-tone look for that one. And it definitely is an awesome car to drive around. Now, for number one on my sports list would be the Misacro. Now, I actually like the Misacro race car better for racing. Of course, the specs are a little bit better. But I chose to put the normal Misacro in here just so you can see the paint job a little bit better than uh, with all the decals on the Misacro race car now this car is uh, colored with a dark blue with a dew yellow pearlescent and I, I don't know for the longest time I never used dew yellow as a pearlescent but it actually looks really awesome it's a nice
nice kind of hybrid between race yellow and uh, lime green as a pearlescent and it looks really awesome on anything uh, blue related so definitely try this color out on any car you guys want I think it looks really awesome especially on this Masacro definitely uh, awesome sports car it's my favorite sports car in the entire game especially for racing next we got the uh, the Bravado Banshee 900R this one Got to include in here just because it's one of the fastest cars in the game, and I do love the Dodge Viper, so definitely an awesome choice to put in here. Now, another simplistic paint job for this one, it's actually a matte red with a matte black secondary, so just the stripe down the middle is a matte black. And then the livery that's on the car, I thought it was kind of cool because it almost looks like wings out the side of the car, just with the way those uh, white stripes are. And I definitely thought it did this car justice. I think it looks really, really nice. Just a red and black car, you know, you know how I am with the red and black. I love that kind of color combination, and with this. This one just kind of kept it simple also to make this car look a lot better you may notice I have a ice white pearlescent on there I just did the matte pearlescent glitch to do that and it does look really really nice uh, I love just putting an ice white pearlescent on matte colors it looks amazing now Next, we have the Salton RS. If you guys watch my Pit My Ride on this, I know it's, uh, it's a very popular video, so a lot of people have already seen it, and this is pretty much the exact one that was in the video. I haven't changed it at all. Same library on there. It's a race yellow with race yellow pearlescent, and then just a secondary of black, and I don't know. This car looks so awesome. I was going for a more like a street racer build of it, and I think I think it worked. Like it just looks incredible. I love the spoiler on it, and I just love the way the livery looks on this car. It looks pretty. It's pretty much uh, one of my favorite supercars in the game. Not because you know it's super fast or anything, but it's just the way it looks. It looks so nice. I love just going out for casual drives in that thing. Really awesome car to drive around. Now next. Uh, we have the Fister 811, one of the new supercars we just got in the game, and actually one of the fastest. There's still, like, everyone I talk to, some people, um, you know, say it's faster than the X80 Proto. Some people are like, no, 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 it's not faster than the X80 Proto. You guys can tell me which side you're on. It seems like a huge debate. Um, I, I've watched a bunch of videos and seen both sides of it, so, you know, it's all depending on who's testing the car, but the X80 and the 811 are pretty much in the exact same ballpark. Like, they're both really, really fast cars, so I'll just say this is, you know, one of the new fastest cars in the game, and it does definitely is a, an awesome car. Now, I pimped it out yesterday, or two days ago now, if you're watching this, and some of you guys may have seen the video. This car, at first, it's... I don't know, it's a, I was skeptical about it, let's say. I was skeptical about it because I like the front of the car and I'm happy they were adding a new Porsche into the game, but for me, the back of the car was extremely ugly. When I first started seeing pictures of it and that kind of stuff, I was like, God, that is the crustiest thing I've ever seen. But you know, when I went and pimped it yesterday for the second time, as well as, uh, you know, just driving it around GTA Online, I actually, it actually started to grow on me. And just this paint job on here, I think looks so incredible that I, this is actually one of my new favorite cars in the game. Uh, I just like driving it around casually now and that kind of stuff. It just looks so cool. So the color that's on here is an ultra blue with a ice white pearlescent and then a secondary of matte black. So if you actually look from this angle on the car, just kind of around the back here, I think that ice white pearlescent on the matte black just is what makes the car. It looks so great as well as the, uh, the wheels on this one with that light blue ring that matches the body of the car. I just think it looks incredible. I don't know if it's uh, just the way I pimped it that made the car grow on me, but it definitely is growing on me. It's uh, one of my favorite cars now with this paint job, especially it looks so great. So definitely check that one out. I know I spend a little bit longer on that car but I don't know I just something about that car right now it's just I, like pulling me into it I love it so much right now now next we have another uh, Corvette as I was talking about this is the Coquette Blackfin and this one I really like just because I don't know this is a color I call Fast and Furious and the the top color the primary color on there is a red with some sort of red pearlescent and then the secondary is a brushed aluminum metal and I don't know what it is about this car but I don't know I just really like it and this is one of the only cars that I like in the game that's a convertible. You may notice uh, this one, you know, doesn't have a roof. I'm not a convertible guy. In real life, I hate convertibles. They look so ugly to me. I don't know why. I really like hard top cars. I just like, you know, having a normal roof on there. I don't like convertibles for some reason. But this is one of the only cars I think looks really awesome, you know, really stylish without a roof. And definitely just had to include it in this garage because it is an awesome looking car. Now, finally, 
We have the Persian T20, uh, McLaren P1, awesome, awesome supercar. I'm a big fan of it, especially, um, I really like the way the spoiler works with it. You know, the raising spoiler, the auto raising spoiler, I guess you could call it. Now this color, I played um, Forza Horizon 2 a while back with me and a bunch of my friends. And you may know in some of the uh, Forza cover arts and that kind of stuff, you do see a McLaren P1 with this type of paint job on there. So as soon as the Persian T1, uh, T20 came out in this game, I had to do it. I had to put this paint job on here and I actually called this paint job Forza in the uh, ultimate color guide I did in this video. So definitely an awesome car I had to include in here. It is still one of the uh, best supercars in the game. So it is really awesome to drive around for races and that kind of stuff. And it does have better handling than that 811 over there. So that pretty much concludes this, uh, this garage tour video. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. Also, in the comment section below, comment on what your favorite car in my garage is. And, you know, if you have any ideas for kind of themes of garage tour videos, I'd love to do it. I have a lot of, you know, money to spend now on uh, putting together garages of cars. So if you want to see one with, like, all the cars being superhero themed, or if you want, like, that idea I said earlier, where I put all, the, all my least favorite cars in one garage and go through them, just kind of, you know, mix it up a little bit, have some fun with it over the summer. Got lots of chances to make videos, so I look forward to doing it doing that so thanks so much for watching and as always have a good day you feel the dragon fire